Aloha. Good morning. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys our daily lives here in Maui, Hawaii. We're also going to be answering all the questions that you guys sent in on Instagram and YouTube. We usually start a day about 6.45 a.m. with a morning run. We eat a lot and been drinking a lot here in Maui. Let's get started. After that run, the best way to cool off is going in the ocean. Wow, what a great swim. So refreshing. It just started raining though. One of the perks though, we had this beautiful huge rainbow. <laughs> what a great way to start the day. Jordan and Emily want to know, we're wondering how you guys split up the workload. Pretty much Tommy does 99% of the filming and editing, and I do 99% of booking accommodations, planning our travels, reaching out to companies to work with, everything else that comes with this kind of lifestyle, I do, and Tommy does the filming and editing, and that's how we split it up. So we're here in early February, and it's pretty amazing. There's whales jumping all over this bay. Huge humpback wheels breaching out of the water. So everybody here is lined up with binoculars. It's pretty spectacular. So after our swim, we head back to our apartment and get some breakfast. Costco muffins, amazing. Where's your next adventure? Mm. After this, we're heading to Louisiana to go visit my family for a family reunion. It'll be fun. <laughs> And then after that, we're heading to Mexico. Mexico City! Yeah, we're excited. Can't mm -hmm. wait to eat some tacos. What are your professional backgrounds? This is from Claudia VM. Uh, my degree is in criminal justice. So after college, I, uh, I was a private investigator for a while, for a couple years. And then I went into sales after that to make more money. I got my degree in fashion merchandising and I worked in retail as a store manager for a very long time at a women's clothing store. I absolutely loved it. Sometimes. Sometimes I hated it. It's retail. <laughs> what are your favorite carry-on suitcases? This is from Gabby Damore. The same as everyone's. <laughs> the away bags. I originally had the away bag and Tommy had a backpack when we first started traveling and he saw how much better the away bag was. It just compresses your clothes and everything so much more. You can fit so much in those things. So after we have lunch, we usually go play a game of pickleball. And it's been me and Sammy versus my parents who are also here with us in Maui. Let's see if we can compete with them today. Next question. So Evan and Lemon said, what is your favorite part about traveling? Favorite part? Mm -hmm. Meeting new people, trying out all kinds of food. Oh, food, that's mine for sure. How about you? Food, people, I love not having a routine. I love experiencing something new every single day. Yes, new adventures, nothing ever gets monotonous. It's new every day. Yeah, love that, love, love, love that. Okay, what is your least favorite part about traveling? Missing family and friends, of course. You know, we're always on the road and gone. But, which is why we're so thankful when people can come meet us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love traveling with our family whenever we can. We always miss our family, so that's probably the hardest thing for sure. I always miss my sisters, but they live in a different state than we do anyway, so I always miss them. What else? Travel days are hard. Airports, always packing up. Mm -hmm. Not having a home base, too. To come home, relax, because you're always consistently changing places. Crazy taxi drivers sometimes. I mean, that's not for every country or for everyone, but it really irks me when I get into a taxi and there's no seatbelt and the driver is crazy. Those are probably our favorite and least favorite things about traveling. Thanks for the question, you guys. Yeah. All Should right. we do what? Okay, you got another one? Oh yeah, let's do one more before okay. pickleball. One more. So, Ways of the World asked, we would love to know how many days it takes to film one video. Most of the time it's one day, we hope. 
Yeah, I think the biggest thing would be like if we miss like some b-roll shots. Shooting b-roll of like the people or the places if we're staying in the city for a while oh, yeah. too. I like to try to go out in the mornings and yeah, it was take my time and really try to capture the essence of the city and the people. Yeah, for sure. But typically we like to try to get it all done in one day, but you know. Most of the time. Things don't always go to plan, but. Pickleball time. Pickleball. So to be honest, they've been beating us the last couple of days. Today that's all gonna change. Told you we were bringing it today. Finally take them down. The, whenever the student becomes the master. <laughs> Jack used to teach pickleball high school and look, look now. The lose, you guys. <laughs> They've been winning like for like three days in a row. We were due. We just got back from pickleball. It's time to make some lunch and I figured we could answer another question. How do you both cope with situations that don't go according to plan? Getting sick, Losing stuff, bad moods, still needing to hit record, or even forgetting the drone. I mean, it's definitely not. We get pissed off at each other. <laughs> we always know bad stuff's gonna happen. So yeah. you're kind of prepared in that regard. So nothing ever go goes according to plan. Yeah. Good question about the drone. I'm very forgetful, so I always usually forget something on a film day. And I forgot my controller. Rookie, oh. rookie, rookie mistake. I mean, yeah, and if we're in bad moods, we just Take a break. 95% of the time someone's either tired and needs caffeine or hungry and needs food. And <laughs> caffeine would be you, food would be me for sure. And those are easy fixes. So we usually try to fix those first and then go from there. Sick, I mean, if one of us is feeling sick, which doesn't happen very often, we usually just bag it, right? Postpone usually. Although I did get sick in the Galapagos and we still had to film there. Go to the Galapagos, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's not good, you guys. But, I mean, that was like a cold, so the show must go on. <laughs> right, lunchtime. The next question was, how did you afford to travel for one year? Both worked, saved up money, really. Yeah. Saved up, we worked for like four years. Yeah. Lived with my parents too, which of course helped a ton to be able to yeah, we were lucky enough to savings. and we also set a, a goal, like a budget goal, and it was $100 a day for that first year of traveling, and we cut it close when we came home in March of 2020, but then that time that we were home gave Tommy the time to learn to edit, and then I also went back to work, and we were able to save up more money and start our YouTube channel, and that's how we're affording to travel right now. One more question before we head down to the beach. What are your plans for the year ahead? No huge plans. We already mentioned Mexico City. Mm -hmm. I think another question we got from somebody was, when we, when are we going to Europe? Mm -hmm. And that would be an amazing spring destination. The shoulder season is our favorite time to travel and be perfect for the spring. I want to go back to North Vietnam for sure. Hopefully in November, that's when the rice fields are like popping. So mm -hmm. that's when I want to go. Other than that, we don't really have too many set plans. We'd love to hear your suggestions though in the comments. Yeah. Let us know where you want to see us go. That would be very helpful. Okay, expat in Brazil asked us, between one subscriber and 40K, what changed you guys? Do you feel different? Are you much wiser? What about your souls? How has this YouTube journey changed you? Oh, yes. Great question. Yeah, great question. Our skills have highly improved from where we started not knowing what I was doing at all. And now I know what I'm doing a little bit, I'd say, with the camera. Yeah, and I think like with travel, Definitely has opened me up to new experiences. Um, kind of overcoming my fear of heights. Definitely not overcome it, but I've done like some height things that I normally would just like say no oh, to. Oh, definitely. Come on. Huge difference. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like getting more excited about those kind of things. So that's definitely been a big change. We're paragliding. I cannot believe we're doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. That Tommy convinced me to do this. Being more open to new experiences, I think that's the biggest exactly. one of the biggest things that about travel. The main thing is to encourage people to travel mm -hmm. and give you ideas for the destinations we're at. That was a great question. Thanks. I think it's good for now. All right. 
So okay, let's head to the beach. I'm ready to go swimming again. Ooh, two, right. beach, one, beach, one, beach, one, beach, one. super windy so I'm not sure how the audio is gonna be but it's a beautiful day. Okay, couple more questions. Let's do it up. Did either of you feel unsafe in Colombia? Ah, good question. Uh, it's what everybody asked whenever we said that we were going to Colombia is is it gonna be safe? Never felt unsafe once our whole time in Colombia. Yeah. We were in the big cities too like Bogota for a long time, Medellin. We we do do things pretty smartly like smartly smart, <laughs> it's, it's smart. We're, we're pretty smart <laughs> but yeah no issues Columbia is highly recommended we loved our time there go what just I mean, be smart what I meant to say was we take normal precautions and we're usually pretty smart and aware of our surroundings we travel smartly let's disappoint it don't give out too much papaya though yeah. Well, we did the whole time because of our camera equipment. So I think that leads us to our next question, which is thanks from Helen and Tim. Oh, yeah. What is your current vlog setup? Hi, Helen and Tim. Hey, guys. Congrats on your journey coming up. We're so excited for you guys. I know. So right now we use the A7S III, which has been an amazing upgrade for us. Yeah, we used to film everything on our Sony 6500. Which we still use quite, quite often. Yeah, I use that camera um, quite a bit. It's the Sammy cam now. Yeah. It is a Sammy cam. We have an Instant 360, which is my new favorite camera. I'm sure you've noticed it in our latest videos. It's his new favorite toy. It whips it, he whips it out anytime he gets a chance. It's very, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, it did. I'm not doing very She's well. very smartly. <laughs> um, oh, oh, mom spotted a whale. Oh, look. Whale. Whale. Oh, it's. A whale breaching. We get whales every time we come to the beach, even from our balcony in our apartment. Hawaii in the winter time. It rains a lot, but it's worth it to see all the whales. Yes. Every day they're breaching just straight up out of the water. It's, it's a beautiful sight. We have another one? I think that's it for now. Let's, okay, have, cool. let's, let's, have let's go swimming. Yeah, beach time. Yeah, let's go swimming. Okay. It's happy hour now. Every happy hour we play some shuffleboard. Salute everybody. Cheers. To Maui. To Maui. Family time. We're gonna answer one question, but since the parentals are with us, we're gonna include them on this question. All right. Susan asked, your best food experience in Vietnam. Just perfect. That's fitting, because they were with us. Yeah. Okay. I'll let mom go first. All right. The best food and the best food experience was in our homestay. And actually, Sammy and I got to cook the with the family. And and eat with the family and that was a wonderful experience. Yes, that was probably my favorite experience too. That was the Fong Na homestay, which was absolutely amazing. We loved meeting the family and cooking with them. It was perfect. If you're in Vietnam, make sure you check out that video and stay with them. Amazing family. Yeah. How about you, Deb? Well, without a doubt, my favorite meal in Vietnam was in Hanoi. Oh yeah. When, for the first time, experienced authentic pho, first famous soup. On the street with the locals, um, yeah, was perfect. The, the energy was so great. First yeah. arriving in that big city, it was pretty wild. So many great food experiences. Yes. Game on, boys Game and girls. On. All right. Cheers. Oh, I get to where you need to be. Oh, negative ten. Good start. Oh, oh no, no, I'm in. I'm in no hurry. I'm a slow and steady. And we're, we're up. up. Yeah, finish them. The next question would be, what is your best recommended country in the off season? Which is great because we love traveling in the off season. I think my recommendation would be Greece. We loved the weather whenever we were there in March. It was a little bit on the chillier side. 
everything was cheaper. There were no crowds. No tourists at all. No tourists. We felt like we were the only people there. It was great. We loved it. We had a great time. We had a cheap car rental. It was, everything about it was perfect. So my recommendation would be Greece. How about you, Mom? My recommendation is that's the only time you should travel if <laughs> it's possible for you. We've been retired for a few years now, and that's when we travel is off season. Wherever you go, shoulder season is the best by far. Less tourists, uh, prices are cheaper, especially if you go to, to Western Europe, the real popular countries, Spain, France, Italy, etc. Spain might, might have been my choice for off season for sure. So much easier to get around, less crowded, so much less expensive, easy to get into all of the sites you want to see. Great answer, man. And you're up. Don't blow this. Oh, heck of a shot there, man. That's a shot. What's score? 37.56. Who's up? You guys, you and your mom are up. Yeah. So 37.56. I had a couple really, really bad rounds. I spilled dad's drink, so we have a little intermission while he goes makes a new one. Next question is goals and kind of wish list travel destinations for 2023. I say a goal is to not run out of money and to be able to keep traveling. <laughs> um, some wish list countries. Japan's pretty high on the list. I want to do India. Um, and I want to head back to a couple countries too, but I want to keep that a secret to surprise you guys. So pretty. Okay, so Tommy and I have similar wish lists. I would also like to go to Japan and India, but I would really like to go to Bhutan and Nepal are high on my list. So if we could make those happen, that would be fabulous. My travel wishes for this year would be probably Ghana and Morocco because I think it's uh, doable for like a six week trip. My goals would be to stay healthy enough to keep traveling. That's my goal, yes. Yay! That's game, I think. Game over? Yeah, game over. Yeah. Woo! Me and mom are victorious! Woo! Oh. Loser! <laughs> Loser! <laughs> okay, and now it's time for dinner! Yeah! Hey, give me my drink back. He's so busy that he's the only one that didn't finish, right? <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, we have most of our meals on our balcony, overlooking the ocean. Sunset, can't be beat. Our last question is from Jeanette. We left the best for last, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, what inspired you to travel? So for me, I was lucky enough to travel when I was very young and to experience that new culture. It was so exciting and I've been seeking that excitement ever since. Love it, and Jackie? Well, first of all, I want to say that traveling and vacationing is totally different, and a lot of people don't get that. But once you start traveling, the world opens up to you, a new culture, and it's so exciting because every day is a new experience. Oh. <laughs> all right, Tom? For me, growing up in a lower-income family with very few opportunities to experience anything out my own, outside of my own neighborhood, I just had a uh, hunger to seek out and see other cultures and other parts of the world. And for me, what made me want to travel, I would have to agree with Tommy. It was definitely part of my parents. I always heard stories from my dad of him traveling growing up. And then also whenever I met Tommy and his parents also inspired me to travel a little bit. Tommy and I have, I guess you could say, we've kind of been traveling since we met, since we went in Costa Rica. And it's always been like a hunger for new experiences. We just love it and we love having it as part of our lives. Thank you guys for watching A Day in the Life in Hawaii with family. And thanks for the questions, we appreciate it. Hope you got to know us a little bit better. See you guys in, oh, I didn't like the ending. Well, rewind, try it again. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. <laughs>